today i'm going to show you <coughs> how to do inverting amplifier multi sim using multi sim so this is your working window to design a inverting amplifier circuit uh, we need some components so you just uh, right click and go to place component the first main uh, core component is your op amp <coughs> for that you have to go to the analog op amp and it is lm741 ch amp. two registers you require go to the place component go to the basic register you can uh, select any one uh, kilo ohm register later on you can change the values two registers we require to bias this op amp uh, we require the vcc for that you have to go to the sources <coughs> vcc and vee later on you can change the voltage from 5 to 12 volts and to give the input uh, you requ we require one uh, function generator and to measure the output signal and to check the waveforms we need two oscilloscopes here you can take one oscilloscope so this is oscilloscope and <coughs> and more thing in the circuit uh, we need to have ground here you have to select the grounds So now I'll connect the circuits. This is the placement of components are over. Now, so first step is so flip the this IC so that uh, <coughs> this uh, inverting terminal come to the top side. Right click this, flip uh, vertically so that we can have uh, this non-inverting terminal at the bottom and inverting terminal at the top. now you place one register here you change the value to 1k kilo ohms and kilo ohms another register here you can connect this one like this copy grounds as much you require you can place it control c and control v so pin number 3 is being grounded here one remember one thing at your function generator this middle wire it should be grounded this positive we have to connect to the circuit here i am connecting this one click connect this one and here it is rf change the label to you can double click it you can change the label values everything label to you can say it is a rf rf so value here in this example i am taking value is 4.7k so here vcc and ve is vcc and ve is can change the value to 12 volts it is a minus 12 here one more thing is for pin number 4 you need to give minus ve pin number 7 minus vcc we just place here the vcc we select it go to the control r button rotate this and you can connect it to pin number 7 this is v number 4 now the circuit is over here pin 
number 3 it has been grounded 2 I have given input from the function and positive side I have connected to this uh, one end of 1k 2 to 6 I have connected uh, RF this pin number 4 minus 12 volts VE this plus 12 volts VC is pin number 7 now input it is given to this inverting terminal since I am doing inverting amplifier whatever input you apply sign will be 180 degree phase shifted at the output here on the CRO there are two channels observe here this is channel A and this is channel B you just ground the minus uh, this negative end of this channel positive end you can give to the input and output side now I am checking at pin number 6 the output to parallelly check the input I am connecting channel B to the input side so this is of zero connections you better you see this plus and minus sign these are channels channel A and channel B positive and negative this negative terminal of this CRO should be grounded positive terminal you can connect to the input and output side so now I have been connected uh, channel A to the output side here I am zooming so now this is the completion of this circuit I have to check the adjust the values of input and check the outputs so for values double click on this uh, function generator function generator here the first step is you have to adjust the frequency you now it is in one hertz you remember this you have to change it to one kilohertz and input voltage I am setting at 0.5 volts peak so it is only a peak voltage if you want to finally at the CRO it is coming in peak to peak that means 0.5 volts if you apply at the input side and CRO will measure it around 1 volts peak to peak it's because CRO it is always measuring peak to peak voltages so here 0.5 volts peak I adjusted since function of this thing this is triangle wave square now I am applying the sine wave 1 kilohertz 0.5 volts peak now save this give any name converting amplifier now simulate for simulation go to this uh, run bar simulation button or press F5 press this now go to the CRO double click, double click on CRO so here you are getting this waveform so you have to adjust these values of uh, channel A voltages and channel B see here scale you have to adjust so, so that get the waveform So channel A it is being connected to this uh, output side it is 4.7k it is a 1k now I will show you only channel A how to measure the input output voltage here these vertical bars you have to adjust here like this one is to the crest another is another end to the negative peak one positive peak and negative peak you have to adjust these verticals so that you can have difference of that will give you voltage now see here output voltage you are getting 4.695 volts now I am only showing the output at the channel A now I will make this zero and show you output input what I have applied so 981.791 millivolts you are getting that means 0.5 volts here I applied 0.5 volts peak here peak 1 node 0.5 volts peak I have applied on here it should come around 1 node peak so it is coming around 981 point millivolts here 994.886 millivolts you are getting the input signal 
so i'll show you both the signals at a time it's here so input and output both are in one the output or what you are getting it is 180 out of phase you are getting to measure the output you have to keep it to the this point 4.642 volts i have told 988.52 millivolts so how this uh, why it is actually coming this much voltage 4.642 it is depends on the formula how to check it so since uh, we are doing uh, inverting amplifier the here the formula comes for inverting amplifier here it is the formula so av is v not by v in v out is minus rf by r in r1 or r1 here in the, in our example we have taken 4.7k is the rf 1k it is input resistance and into v in v in what you have taken is at your circuit is v in is 1 volts 0.5 volts peak means 1 volts peak to peak in our formula it is there 1 volts peak to peak this 4.7k divided by 1k so the ki this kilohms kilohm cancel out and it is remaining 4.7 so finally what is the voltage expected voltage is minus 4.7 volts peak to peak so minus indicates it is a 180 out of phase so here 4.7 volts peak to peak voltage it is expected voltage for inverting amplifier that is what we are getting here 4.642 volts see here 4.7 volts you should get 4.642 volts you are getting so this is about the completion of inverting amplifier